Okay, so <clears throat> like before, <laughs> like so many times in the past, uh, I got caught in the rain again. It's coming down pretty hard, and like right when I went to sort of, <clears throat> right when I uh, made my way to this this little area where I like to take shelter and wait the rain out, <clears throat> a suspicious car with his headlights on just so happens to just pull up and just to stand in there. This is actually the same day of the uh, the other video that I posted. Like I was actually on my way back when the rain really started coming down and uh, the dealership is not far from where I'm at now. But as you can tell, it's coming down pretty hard. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and duck again. And uh, it, was, it was the people at the dealership. So this is the same day. And then I just noticed this car just posted up, so. Like I'm just gonna wait and see what, what's going on with this car. <clears throat> the V Fair though, normally, um, you see, you, you notice how when I started coming towards the, the little monster, he decided he was gonna take off just like with the other car. Just like with the other car. This stuff is predictable. It's predictable. These thugs. Uh, these thugs are, uh, are, are are very predictable in how they behave, and you know people put out these stalker videos and act like it's perfectly fine just because it happened to them or something. I was like, there's nothing perfectly fine about this. I don't care what kind of video, you know, some TikTok, some personal TikTok puts out there. These cops are involved in it. And I'm going to be the first to say that I'm not trying to hear about just because some person who is a, a social media influencer has some creep stalking them and the cops didn't do anything about it, that we're supposed to just be okay with the fact that this is happening. This is a criminal conspiracy. This is a criminal conspiracy. These people are into the heaviest stuff that you would ever heard of in your life, okay? I think the reason they're after me is because I had a relative who was involved in some pretty heavy criminal criminal stuff and these and these people are connected with to the stuff that that person was in and that's a theory but yeah uh one of my relatives it, you know this really horrible person and i didn't even know this person that well when i started dealing with with the person i didn't even know the person that well was a into some pretty heavy uh stuff and and I think that it was a criminal conspiracy. No joke. I'm not exaggerating. And these people are, are these, 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 they're just like these major thugs. They're, you know, these, these, these horrible thugs and they're like the worst people on the planet. And that's why they're after me. That's why they're bothering me every day. So I want to put that out there because I think that's relevant. But since that thug decided he was going to move on, I'm going to go ahead and close out now. <clears throat>